This Sunday, the V75 was held at Danero Racetrack for a special edition with the Criterium for Cold Bloods. The turnover, almost two and a half million dollars. In the first leg, uh, we saw number four Tip Jar take the lead immediately for Ova Lindquist with one of the favorites, Art Vandelay, on the outside. Uh, Donner's Am was the favorite in the race, was out three wide the last 700 meters, but not able to catch the outsider Tip Jar. And we started the V75 off with an upset. Tip Jar wins it for Ova Lindquist. Donner's Am picks up second place, and Coburg Hanover finishes third after a very strong last lap. Win odds 12.39, and the value on the V75 starts off at almost $30. In the second leg on the V75, we saw the Philly division of the Criterium for Cold Bloods. And number two, Mears Hira, went to the lead right away. And after that, there was just one horse left on the track. The uh, Swedish champion, or the Swedish record holder, rather, Mears Hira, was absolutely undisputed. And we're going to see a lot of this beautiful girl in the future. Mears Hira wins it for Ulf Eriksson. Mai Uda finishes second. And Mare RF is third. The value on the V75 increases slightly with that favorite $37.80. Third leg on the V75 was a tricky race where number five Adelsa made it as fi favorite for Orian Chilstrom. Very easily to the lead, kept a relatively low pace, and over the final stretch it looked like Adelsa was heading for the win. But on the outside, we have a great finish from number 15 Nikki Sileber. And between horses, number 10 Lollipop Girl battle all the way to the wire where number 10 Lollipop Girl comes out on top for Ove Lindquist and trainer Ulrika Rehn. That combination, the same one as in the first leg with tip jar. The value increases to $116. In the fourth leg, we had the only handicap race all year on the V75. As they reach the final turn, uh, number four, Nova Mollen, has had a sweet second over trip and takes over. But on the inside, a late finish from number 11, Blåsundan, on the far outside, Guli Storm, the favorite with Urian Chilström. And as they reach the wire, the inside horse, number 11, Blåsundan, wins. And we get yet another upset on the V75 at 9%. $639.40 now the value on the V75. In the fifth leg, it was all set up for a smash from Nadal Broline. Ulf Olsen made no mistakes, didn't get involved in, in uh, battling for the lead. He just stayed at the back and over the last 700 meters went three wide and uh, won it very convincingly. It was uh, a different class here. Nadal Broline much better than the rest. Bo Mech, the uh, Derby winner for four years ago, came in second. And third was Puchai, where they pulled the shoes for the first time. Very low increase, $651.60 on the Nadal Bro line, who went off at over 80% on the V75. The sixth leg was the Cold Blood Criterium, and the number two, Kosodin, was a very clear favorite. Kosodin was pressured into uh, surrendering the lead with 500 meters to go by number five, Tech Noel, who had a sweet second over trip. And over the final stretch, Kosodin went on the attack again, but broke, and that left number five, Tech Noel, all alone up front for Earl Folsen in a very easy win. Number six, Kögel finishes second, and Valeas comes back after a break in the start to pick up third place. Tech Noel, who was sick in the elimination, now came back out on top. Then in the last leg, number two, Dream Lane, the favorite, went to the lead for Urian Chilström. On the outside, pressured by Dennis de Castella, out three wide, number seven, Toddler, the whole last lap, and also out three wide behind Toddler, number 10, imported from Detroit. Le Miracle was one of the favorites here, finds a late opening for Eric Audison and finishes very strongly. Imported from Detroit against Le Miracle, and it's number 10, imported from Detroit, and Sandra Eriksson, who posts another upset on the V75, where we're looking at a high payout this Sunday. 31.48 the win odds. Seven correct gives you $159,020.20. Six correct will give you $480.20. And five correct, $25.40. Big congratulations to anyone who had seven right on the V75. Don't forget to play next week again when the V75 is held on Saturday.